brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Hashim Amla Hashim Muhammad Amla is a South African international cricketer who plays for South Africa in all three formats of the game. He is a right-handed batsman, often regarded as one of the greatest batsmen in the world. He has the record of the highest individual test score for any South African batsman of 311 against England at Kia Oval, London in July 2012. Amla is an occasional off-break bowler and was South Africa's test captain from June 2014 to January 2016. Personal Life Born to a South African Muslim family which has its roots in Gujarat, India, Amla is a devout Muslim. He was reared in a middle-class home, and sent to the highly regarded Durban High School, which is the alma mater of Lance Klusner and Barry Richards. His elder brother, Ahmed Amla, was a professional cricketer. Ahmed made his debut two years earlier than Hashim, and they played together for a time at the Dolphins. Hashim married Sumaya and they have two children, a son born in 2012 and the second in 2013. Early Years Upon graduating from Durban High School and impressing on the youth circuit, Amla made his debut for his provincial team, the KwaZulu Natal Dolphins, soon captaining South Africa at the 2002 Under-19 Cricket World Cup in New Zealand, leading his team to the final. During his formative years, former Western Province captain and coach Hilton Ackerman had been influential in Amla's development, first spotting his talent and honing his skills during his coaching career. His promise led him to being appointed captain of KwaZulu Natal. At the young age of 21, Amla was cited as a future captain of South Africa ever since his first class years. Amla moved from the Dolphins to Cape Cobras in 2013. Indian Premier League Amla was picked in 2016 by the Kings XI Punjab as a replacement for Sean Marsh, after the latter's injury. Since then, he has proved to be an integral part of the team's batting lineup. He has scored 577 runs in 16 matches, which included two centuries and three half centuries. In 2018 IPL auction Amla went unsold in spite of making 577 runs with two centuries at an average of 44.38. International career Upon being appointed captain of the Dolphins, Amla began the 2004-2005 South African domestic season by scoring four centuries. During his first eight innings, his success at the domestic level and consistent performances for the South Africa squad led to him being chosen for the Winter 2004 Tour of India at the age of 21, thereby becoming the first South African of Indian descent to represent South Africa in international cricket making his debut in Eden Gardens, Kolkata. On 28 November 2004, he initially made a slow start to his career, with his technique having been criticised after scoring 36 runs in the 2004 series against England. After honing his technique and working on his skills with the Dolphins, for whom he regularly top-scored in the South African domestic circuit, he proved his critics wrong in 2006 as he scored a comeback 149 against New Zealand at Newlands, Cape Town, helping guide South Africa to a match-saving draw. He subsequently continued this success, earning a national contract and scoring 1,599 runs, at an average of 57.10 in his next 19 tests, solidifying his position as South Africa's number three batsman. On 27 March 2008, he scored an unbeaten 159 against India in Chennai amidst searing conditions. His success throughout the 2008 year, in which he scored 1,012 runs, consisted of numerous centuries and solid performances against India, England, and Australia. During South Africa's 2009 tour of Australia, Amla helped South Africa win a historic Test and One Day series victory over Australia scoring 259 runs at an average of 51.80 during the tests, and contributing crucial scores in the one-day series, including a match-winning 80 in the series clincher. Amla has had four spells playing county cricket in England, for Essex in 2009, Nottinghamshire in 2010, Surrey in 2013 and Derbyshire in 2015. In April 2009, he was signed by Essex as their overseas player for a portion of the 2009 English county season, as a short-term replacement. 
for Danish Kynaria. During his stay at the club, he scored two centuries in two championship matches, including a match saving 181 on his debut, the highest score by an Essex debutant, as well as 111 runs off 107 in his first Pro 40 match, against Sussex. Essex fans had warmed to him throughout his stay, affectionately calling him WG, in reference to WG Grays. During England's 2009-2010 tour of South Africa, Amla was an integral member of the side throughout the series, scoring a crucial century in the first test at Centurion, and contributing important innings during the rest of the series. His performances saw him move up the ICC test batting rankings. In 2016, he will make his debut for the Kings 11 squad in the Indian Premier League, replacing the injured Sean Marsh. 2010 Amla started 2010 in February against India in a two-match test series against India in India. In the first test he scored 253 as South Africa reached 558. After this a superb bowling performance from Dale Stain meant that India were bowled out for 233 with Stain bagging seven wickets. India forced to follow on were bowled out for 319 as South Africa won by an innings and six runs. In the second test match Amla made 114 before being caught by MS Donny. Despite Amla's century the remaining South African batting order could only manage 296. India batted and scored 643 with centuries from Virenda Sewag, Sachin Tendulkar, VVS Laxman and MS Donny. The South African chase collapsed poorly. But Amla still managed another century scoring 123 as South Africa were bowled out for 290 and crashed to an innings defeat. After this Amla toured the West Indies for five ODIs and three test matches. Amla top scored in the first ODI with 102 as South Africa coasted to a comfortable victory. He followed this up with 92 in the second ODI as South Africa again sealed a 17-run victory. In the third ODI, Amla scored 30. But in the fourth ODI he returned with a century by scoring 129 off 115 balls. He made 45 in the fifth and final ODI before he was run out by Kieran Pollard as South Africa won narrowly by one wicket. The three-match test series was won where Amla performed consistently but didn't register any centuries. He top scored with 44. The first test was a poor one for Amla scoring two and five as South Africa still won comfortably. In the following test he scored 44 and 41 as the match was drawn, he scored 5 and 25 in the final test match as South Africa won by 7 wickets. In the three-match ODI series against Zimbabwe, Amla scored 110 as South Africa gave Zimbabwe 351 to win and South Africa won the match by 64 runs. The second ODI saw Amla score 110 as South Africa cruised to an 8-wicket victory and sealed the three-match series with one game to spare. Amala had a quiet final ODI scoring 24 as South Africa won by 264 runs. Amla went into a five-match ODI series against Pakistan on the back of good form and in the first ODI managed 35 as South Africa won by eight wickets. Amla scored a quick-fire half-century in the second ODI before being given leg before to a Shahid Afridi leg break. Despite this good knock from Amla and 286 from South Africa, they couldn't win the match courtesy of a superb century by Abdul Razak scoring 109 off just 73 balls. In the third ODI Amla scored 119 as the rest of the South African order collapsed around him and the team only managed 228. However South Africa won the match by just two runs courtesy of some superb death bowling Yorkers from Rusty Theron. Following these excellent performances in the ODI format Amla was selected in the 12-man 2020 squad against India at the Moses Mabhida Stadium. He was selected in place of opener Lutz Bosman. The most significant thing about the match before it started or ended was that it was the final match of Makayantini. He is one of the greatest personality in modern cricketing world. 2012 During the Proteas tour of England, he scored the highest ever test score by a South African and the country's first triple century while playing in the first test at the Oval. He scored 311 not out in a man of the match performance, as South Africa defeated England by an innings and 12 runs. He then scored his 16th test century in the second innings of the third test at Lords, 
as South Africa beat England by 51 runs to clinch the series by 2-0, and ascend to top of the ICC Test rankings. He was South Africa's man of the series, and during the ODI series that followed he scored a career-best 150 in the second match against England, at Southampton. They then toured to Australia, where Amla scored 104, and shared a 165-run third wicket partnership, with Jacques Callis in the first test at the Gabba. Amala and Callis are the most prolific partnership in South Africa's Test match history. In the third test at the Wacker, Amla scored 196 in the second innings in a match-winning, series-clinching effort, together with Graham Smith. Their second wicket stand of 178 and 2 while his century came up in 87 balls. 2013 During bilateral series against New Zealand in January 2013, Amla was requested to lead the team due to suspension of regular captain Abdevilliers for two matches due to slow over rate, that Amla declined requesting to be left to concentrate on his batting. In August 2013 it was announced that Amla had signed for Surrey, for whom he made a limited number of appearances in domestic matches. 2014 in June 2014 Amla became South Africa's first permanent non-white test captain, ahead of the Sri Lanka tour following Graham Smith's retirement. Amla captained his side to a historic victory against Sri Lanka in his first test series as captain. He continued to make domestic appearances, for Surrey when other commitments allowed. 2015 In January 2015, he was named the player of the series in a bilateral series against West Indies. In August 2015, he won man of the match against New Zealand for his match-winning century. He was included in the Boland cricket team squad for the 2015 Africa T20 Cup. 2016 In January 2016, Amla stepped down as South Africa captain following a drawn test against England at Newlands. This was preceded by his poor run of form and his team's poor performance against India in November 2015. His team lost the first test against England in the home series. The second test, the one after which Amala announced his resignation, ended in a draw after a double hundred from the South African captain. During first test against Sri Lanka at St George's Park, Amla dismissed LBW to New and Pradeep in the second innings, becoming the 10,000th LBW victim in Test cricket history. 2017 During the third test against Sri Lanka on 12 January 2017, Amla played his 100th test, becoming the eighth South African to play for 100 tests. By ending nine innings without a 50 in recent test tours, Amla finally scored his 26th century in his 100th match and regained his test average, over 50 as well. With that century, Amla became the eighth test player overall and second South African after Graham Smith, to score a century in 100th test. When he complete 100 test match he got the title in August 2017, he was named in a World Eleven side to play three 2020 international matches against Pakistan in the 2017 Independence Cup in Lahore. Dean Jones Controversy During a test match between South Africa and Sri Lanka on 7 August 2006, Australian 10 sports commentator Dean Jones referred to Amala as a terrorist after he had taken a catch. After incorrectly assuming that broadcasting switched to a commercial break, he had said, the terrorist gets another wicket. The broadcast was aired around the world, including South Africa, and he was subsequently widely condemned by South African fans, players and several former cricketers and commentators, leading to the channel terminating its contract with Jones. After the incident Jones reportedly apologized to Amla, stating that his comments were never supposed to be heard over the air, which he accepted. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?